back, everyone. It is a topic that not many men like to talk about, infertility. And it turns out that it's more common than you might think. And tonight, doctors at St. David's are helping to educate men on the issue. Kate Weidel has this morning's Austin Health Report. Two years ago, we decided to start a family. We had no luck. Uh, we were trying, and, and nothing was happening. It was a frustrating experience for Bill and Casey Pittman. They had no idea why they couldn't conceive, and Bill was hesitant about getting tested. It's a pretty uh, humbling experience, but once you get the results back, then you know where to go from there. I came back with um, sterile. I was zero. Zero sperm count. It turns out testosterone therapy was causing him to be sterile. Yeah. I was a little sad, too, you know, to find out that, you know, I was the reason we weren't, uh, you know, having kids. It's a common misconception that fertility is only a, a woman's issue. Research shows that one in seven couples have trouble conceiving. Half of the time, it's because of the man having fertility issues. Dr. Parviz Kavusi, a reproductive urologist here in Austin, finds couples wait years before they investigate the cause. Well, a lot of times that's the case. A lot of times you'll see the couples that have been trying for one, two, three years and, uh, and they come and say, we don't know what's, what's going on. The causes can be genetic, anatomical like dilated veins or hormonal. New research out of New York shows men that put their laptop on their lap, even with a protective pad underneath, can lower their sperm production. It showed that up to 30 minutes, any one of those scenarios um, will have an increase of heat enough that it can affect sperm production. Dr. Cavusi says if you've been trying to conceive for a year and nothing happens, it's time to see a doctor. For Bill, he just needed to change the medication he was on. But now it's just really up to, you know, God's will. Kate Wydaw, KXAN, Austin News. And if you're interested to learn more about the signs and the symptoms of male infertility, there is a free seminar tonight. It's happening over at the St. David's South Austin Medical Center from 6 until 7.30. For more information, you just need to log on to our website at kxan.com.